Alrighty, so we got uh, our LTMG Chinese import excavator, two ton unit, uh, zero turn. Uh, we've had it two weeks now. Just show you the bit of it. Uh, it's got the track widening capabilities, narrow. I've got it on the widening set right now. It's got the uh, bulldozer uh, on the front. Right now I have the scoop bucket on it. The scoop bucket I ordered is a tilting bucket. I don't have the tilt hooked up because I'm using the thumb right now. I was doing some uh, ditching, but now I'm gonna do some wood. Um, I just bought it because I've got a property here with a lot of uh, uh, slugging and stuff. And I figured this would be like a good strong hand to do the work such as uh, uh, splitting this this tr old tree here, lifting it onto the uh, splitter. Uh, I'll show you in a minute it's starting and stuff like that. It's 18 horsepower Kubota motor, diesel. It's uh, not as loud as I thought it would be. You don't need hearing protection, but it's still not a bad idea. But basically I use this for uh, moving rocks around uh, digging trenches for the solar power we've got, uh, grading the, the landscaping for the house, and uh, lots of stuff, moving rocks. It's actually pretty strong. I'm surprised for the size of it, what it can lift. Anyways, we'll, I'll, I'll start it up and show you what it can do. I have very little excavator experience before this. this doesn't have is I know a buddy of mine's got one where you've got this thing you can lift this up out of the way it doesn't have that so when you shut off the uh, hydraulic you can hit this and not that doesn't have to get it out of your way I'm 6'2 230 pounds and it's not as tiny as I thought it would be it's it's pretty roomy anyways that's that option that I do and then we'll uh, go over to move some rocks in a minute
So as you can see, it's very capable. Let me just get this off here. Very capable. Uh, I'll just go over some of the features again. So basically, you've got your gauges here. Let me just move that around. You got fuel, which I'm low. You got temperature, and you got the uh, battery power. For a uh, glow plug, you turn that, and that, that that light comes on for the glow plugs. And it starts, I was minus 10, it started with the glow plugs, no block heater. And then there's your on button, right there. This is your uh, uh, um, dozer blade up and down, this is your throttle. The machine seems to work just as good on low, low RPM as it does high PM, RPM. Uh, it's got a seat belt. And then this is your lockout. You put that down and then hydro, up the hydraulic. So one thing that, I, that it came with that I didn't know was a two speed. So you can, uh, if you're going in a straight line, you can double the speed, but it doesn't like to work at high speed. It has a hard time maneuvering because I think that on the ground, the treads are so deep on the new tracks, it uh, has a hard time turning, but going straight in two speed is nice. This here is the button that you use to switch the hydraulics from the uh swing boom to the track in and out extension so they widen the tracks out you have to do that with the tracks off the ground so you have to lower your dozer blade and lower your boom behind it lift the tracks up and the tracks go in and out like that i've got them out because i got lots of room so that's what that button is for even though it doesn't is not in english uh, your controls are pretty smooth i'm not like i said experienced with operating these things so i'm a little jerky but you can be smooth with it it's not like some of the ones i see uh, from uh, other manufacturers but anyways yeah two week review happy with it uh the cost i think into canada shipping was crazy uh i was under under 27 into canada all said and done so um but yeah the shipping was like five grand it was crazy uh but I ordered it with a swivel bucket and the thumb that doesn't come stock. You just come with a digging bucket. I think it's a 18 inch digging bucket. That's a 30 inch ditch bucket. Like I said, I got the swivel, but it's not hooked up because I'm using the thumb right now. I guess you can only use one or the other. Anyways, uh, yeah, so I'm pretty happy after two weeks. And uh, like I said, it's a lot quieter than I thought it would be. Uh, very, the motor's uh, really smooth, the Kubota. I think they offer different different options a, a, a uh, Yanmar I think you can get but anyways um, anyways that's it okay see you later and as an added feature I'll uh, show you what else I use it for occasionally is putting logs on my uh, uh, sawmill